kiddos, it's Grandma Jo here. Are y'all ready to color today? Now, if you wanna color this jack-o'-lantern picture that I have here, go ahead and pause the video and you can click on the uh, link in the description below and print out this exact same sheet and we can color it together, okay? Now, I hope you have an orange crayon because we've got a lot of orange to color today. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? This one or this one? I think I'm gonna go with the lighter orange for the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so we're gonna be coloring orange for quite a while, it looks like. But that's okay. Have you already gotten your jack-o'-lantern carved? Is he happy or scary? I have got, I think we should do the yellow in his eyes, like he's got a candle in there. Okay. You know, pumpkins are grown on every continent except Antarctica, because it's just too cold there and we can't grow in there. And you know, the word jack-o'-lantern really wasn't even talking about pumpkins at first. They would use that name for someone who was carrying the lantern like at night, like a watchman. They would call them jack-o'-lanterns. It's pretty cool, huh? Let's see, get all the way up to the edge here. We got two spiders over here. I think we might color them a different color than black or brown. Maybe make them colorful like they are going to a Halloween party or something, or maybe going trick or treating. Go through here. Through the edge over there and all the way down to the corner. Yeah. You know, in Ireland is where they started carving what became jack-o'-lanterns today. And they used to use potatoes or um, turnips. They were like little tiny little carved faces in them. And they would sit them you know, by their doors or their windows to scare off, you know, evil spirits or things that ghosts or things they were scared of. But the name Jack came from another Irish tale about a man named Stingy Jack. He was a trickster. And she used to play tricks on people. And that's where we got the word, or that's where the Jack part and Jack Root Lantern came from. It's pretty interesting, huh? When people came to America, that's when they started carving pumpkins instead. is probably easier than trying to carve a little tiny face in a potato. Okay, down through here in the little teeth area. Around the eyes some more. around the side here. We, we're getting close to being done, but we still have quite a bit more to go. Now, you know you can eat the seeds of a pumpkin. They have to be cooked first though. You have to bake them in the oven. So if you decide you wanna try it, you have to get an adult to help you. But they're pretty tasty makes a good snack. And 
and the pumpkins that we used to carve jack-o'-lanterns, they are not usually the same thing people make pumpkin pie out of. It's a different kind of pumpkin. They're usually those smaller ones you see at the grocery store. We're almost done with orange. I think we've used about half of our crayon. Almost, huh? Just around the bottom part here. What do you want to color next? Maybe we should do the vine and the stem. You know, pumpkins grow on a vine. There we go. All right, all done with the orange. So let's color this stem right up here green. We'll do this dark green. Kind of get here, it's kind of small. Here, so you got to be careful around. There you go. Through here, a little bit more on the bottom. Should we do the stem now? Let's do it a brown. See, I have a brown crayon right here. Get up to that corner there. spiders nets? I think. Let's do something fun on the spiders. Let's do a purple maybe or you could do pink. Do this one purple. They're all dressed up to go out for Halloween too. Almost done with him. Let's color the eyes too. Maybe we'll make those green. There we go. Let's pick this. Should we do the yellow green? Let's do the yellow green. We'll do both of them yellow green. There we go. Right here. Alrighty. Now we have the jack-o'-lantern eyes, and I think we should do those yellow, like the candles already lit in there. You might have a little battery-operated candle, too. We'll make it glow yellow. There we go. I don't think this jack-o'-lantern is too scary. Seems a little happy. To the corners there. And 
the mouth, around the teeth area. done with this. Now then should we color the sky a little bit maybe? Since our jack-o'-lantern has glowing eyes, I think obviously it's nighttime, right? So maybe we'll take a little bit of the black crayon Make some little squiggly lines so we can tell it's nighttime out. There we go. Get the corner of it looks good. There we go. Push some of that off. And let's find our black crayon. There it is. Then maybe just do a few little lines just to give the image that it's dark outside, right? doesn't matter if you color over the leg part because they're black anyway. There we go. Through here. Now it's definitely night outside. How's that look? All right. I think that looks good. All right. Well, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. We'll color another fall picture this week, okay? Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.